So, let's talk about who will die during the final saga. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And if you're new or if you haven't quite yet, just go ahead and subscribe to me to the channel if you want to keep seeing some One Piece kind content. And I also do react to Berserk as well. We just finished the conviction arc. And I have to say, that was some good, some good fiction. Cannot deny that. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the character that, characters that are going to die in the final saga. There are a multitude of characters that should have died in a One Piece universe. Like, first of all, Pell. Come on. We don't need to talk about that. And I don't know what his name is. Uh, Lola's dad. The dude that was in the hole at Big Mom's Island. He should have died. He got, he got his head chopped off by Oven. But next thing you know, in the cover art, you see him talking to his twin daughters. Interesting. But in the upcoming final saga, there are guaranteed deaths that will happen because this is the final saga of One Piece. Once the, once the, the manga ends, we don't need the characters no more, to be honest with you. So let me go ahead and give you my thoughts on a few characters that I think that will die. And let's get this out the way too. I'm not going to say the obvious one, you know, like villains, of course, like Emu, Blackbeard, and possibly a Kainu. A Kainu might just be locked up by the end of the series. We don't know, but I'm not going to say the obvious ones like that. So let me go ahead and give you my first monkey D Garp. First of all, he have death flags all over him. He's just oldish. He's just old. He's an old, an old man in this universe. He is 70 years old and he also bears the will of D of course. And he is probably the only D bearer that has broke the casual the, broke the line of fate where D clan members die at a very young age. He's he's probably yeah, he's the proof that you can do it, but He's possibly the only one that did it. And I think his his time is almost coming here. And the character that's gonna probably do him in is a kind of, and that's what I assume that's gonna happen during the final war, cause he was still he was visibly upset when a kind of made Ace into a donut, basically. <laughs> he killed Ace right before his eyes in front of the world. And I think a kind of would just do him in just like he did his grandson causing the likes of Luffy or Sabo to just go ahead and give Akainu that work. Another D bear to have death flags looming all over is Trafalgar D. Water Law. Cause Law, if you haven't read the recent manga chapter 1063, it seems like that he is going to die. He is literally taking on the Black Peer, the Blackbeard Pirate solo. And one other thing, it just shows that Law has no help on his crew. I'm just gonna say that. It's like he's LeBron, in, tw in 2007 and 2018 pushing these guys to the one piece like it's crazy and law he just have a lot of death flags first of all he have death literally on his hand he's literally called the surgeon of death he is the fourth strongest supernova supernova and we all know the number four is a lot of death flags in japan being their unlucky number like ours is 13 and his devil fruit literally causes him to die if he uses the eternal use surgery on someone just another way that he will die and to top it all off he is a d clan member and he is young right now like because honestly it looks like that's where his character is going because technically law still isn't free from all the pain and trauma that he suffered from do flamingo and from the events of, of, of the death of corazon Corazon, Corazon wanted him to be free. I don't think there's any other freedom for Law except for death. I do see Law taking out Doflamingo once and for all, like killing Doflamingo as well at some point, but I do see Law dying, either from the eternal use surgery, giving it to Blackbeard, or Blackbeard just might kill him and take his double fruit. That can happen also as well. There's, there's a lot of possibilities with Law and how his character is gonna go by the end of the series. His next one is a very obvious one in my eyes cause he's obviously gonna have to die for this for Zoro to get his title. So Mihawk is going to die obviously. He's going to he's gonna be killed by Zoro once they go at it. Once they finally have that round two of their battle for the world's great the world's strongest swordsman title. I think that's gonna happen during the final war of course because I don't just see I don't see Zoro just walking off and just taking care of business on his own while he's still a part of the Straw Hat crew. First of all, he's gonna get lost. We we know that for sure. And another person that just got death flags around him is Shanks, but I'm not gonna talk about Shanks because Shanks is like a very, very obvious one. Cause our everybody already knows like Shanks is possibly gonna die from Blackbeard's hand. But 
and he will never like and Luffy will never be able to give him the straw hat of course but I don't see nobody talk about Mihawk's death because they just like oh Mihawk cross guild nah he is going to die he is guaranteed that he's gonna die obviously all right this one you can put into question because the way that the story of one piece is that everybody will achieve their dreams this one is possibly i just don't see it happening because he just he's a literal walking death flag so the soul king brook brook is literally bones like you think he's gonna survive the final war you think he's strong enough to, to fight off like a one-on-one -on -one? person that's like actually going to be like capable of his abilities i don't think that i think i don't think so because you rank brook as like one of the strongest straw hats like his rank in the straw hats i'll say he's probably around he's definitely above usopp he's like literally close to he's close to i'm gonna say robin and frankie in strength for sure but I don't see him like actually taking on someone that's very stronger than him in the final war. I think final war is going to be like better than the war of the best, of course, because it's going to be he's going to actually have active pirates out there that's going to be gunning for the one piece. You think they're not going to take down a skeleton? Anybody can destroy Brook. It's easy as hell. All you do is crush him and that's it. He literally died before with his reviver revive food. That's the only reason that he's alive right now. If he dies once again, it would not. It would be shocking, but I'll be like, "Huh, we should have seen this one coming." My my money's gonna be on Brook for the for the stride that's gonna die, not Usopp. Usopp is like, all right, he's gonna die, a brave warrior to see. People like you, you can like, you know, like just agenda piece your agenda piece yourself like in that mindset of like Usopp dying because like like saving somebody, being a brave warrior to see. But I don't see that at all. At, not at all like because Usopp have a lot more character than Brooke Brooke could just want to go see a whale I think that's gonna be the saddest part it's gonna be it's gorgeous it's gonna have some good sad moments in one piece but this one is gonna be very very sad if Brooke never sees Laboon again I think that's gonna be happening somebody's dream will not come true on the Straw Hat crew I mean I don't see Jim, I don't even think Jinbei even have a dream I mean his, I think his just dream is just to be like with Luffy and see like the world and all that you know like actually having fun in his life instead of doing all this politics stuff but but brooke it's just it's the obvious one to me so this one is actually a one that's about to happen upcoming in the man in the manga i presume because it's obvious that it's gonna happen he's about to suit them up with all this gear this scientific knowledge and all the knowledge about double fruits and everything like that because he's going to die after he does after he gives us that information we do not need him no more in the story and it's and then he is in hot pursuit right now with the cp0 on his tail rob lucci is going to kill vegapunk i actually do see that because they said they're gonna do it i don't see no other reason why not to do it they, they they're gonna they need to get it done because it was an order by the world government so it's gonna get done right, no questions asked that's how it works for the CP0 because we do see the extreme the extremes that the CP0 will go to f to finish up their mission like come on the max dude that interrupt the fight with of Kaido and Luffy he knew he was gonna die they literally set up Luffy to fail and followed them as soon as he as soon as another person got interrupt get into the fight Kaido killed him with ease with ease and he knew he was dead like that's why he didn't want to do it <laughs> but he still did it because the world it was a world government order <sighs> yep vegapunk is gonna die by the end of this arc that's my call but anyway go ahead and subscribe if you want to go ahead and see some more one piece content just like this and i also do react to berserk like i said beforehand go ahead and like if you enjoyed the video go ahead and comment your opinion on which characters that you think will, is going to die later on in the final saga of one piece anyway i'm gonna see you guys later peace